And like most people, I was just gifted one of those like uh, beer kits, right? Um, the first, first batch I ever did was with, uh, I think it was a Brooklyn beer kit. Um, did it in the kitchen, it was a, it was a gift. Um, and the beer was terrible. It was just, it tasted like soap. It was not good at all. And honestly, I think that's partly why I was, just got so hooked on it. Because it turned out so bad, I was like, no man, I can do this better. I can do this better. Um, and it just grew. So it was from that kit to starting to buy, you know, five gallon pots, um, to getting giant coolers where I could do, you know, mash ton for double batches. So I'm doing 10 gallons at home on my stove. And then that just kind of grew into what's behind us, which is um, 300 gallon pots. So it was like January 2016, I remember, there was a big snowstorm that sort of shut down the entire federal government. Um, and I had a hot paper um, that I had printed out weeks before from uh, Peter Wolf, and it was about the extraction of um, dry hopping, essentially. Um, and I remember I just, I read, read through it that day and I was just fascinated. I'm like, here, here are the answers tested answers with sensory results even of questions that I've had forever. For the rest of that snow day, I just was on the internet trying to find every study I could on, on, on hopping, dry hopping I think in particular, um, and ended up at um, that day kind of summarizing everything I learned, wrote my first um, blog post that was sort of academic based, um, and it went over really well and I just, just kind of found my niche there. It was kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm the guy that's willing to spend hours and hours um, researching different topics, not necessarily knowing what I'm looking for. Um, would get inspired by the research. I would write up what I, what I learned, and then I would brew a batch or two to kind of test, test the theory or test, test the, uh, the research. Um, and, and I would just kept doing blog posts like that. Um, and that just sort of grew into what this, what, what this book is. The book is really just, it's a big overarching look um, at brewing in general, um, but it has this heavy, heavy slant towards hazy IPAs. Um, this is definitely an advanced brewing book. book. There's great books out there to get you, um, get you started on the home brewing level. Um, John Palmer's How to Brew is a great example of that. Um, this book is assuming you kind of already know the terminology, you, you understand the process, but now let's look deeper into each one of those process steps. Um, and so a basic knowledge is, is needed, um, but a, a thirst for more is, is also kind of required for this book.